Uh, Balco Man. I'm doing the meek voice a little bit. I'm not feeling it today. I used to have a good meek voice. I can do a pretty good impression of about most of the scenes. But I don't have anyone else I could count or I should mimic right now. I don't know. I don't know. Chat, man. tell me, and I'll do it for you sometime. But we've got right now, we're going to be seeing Wolf versus Pika. Um, I think Pika is one of the best characters against Pika Wolf right now. Okay. Pika was a character that started a game I ever thought was going to be broken, you know? I mean, does, does Wolf have issues hitting small characters? Yes. Okay. At times he can. At. Yes. And Pika's combat game, even if it Go! isn't as explosive as Pichu's, it's still very good and can kind of wolf, open Wolf up. And he's got better mobility than Wolf, too, so. He won't have a hard time in neutral compared to some characters getting hurt. <laughs> the crouching. Low profile. You know all about low profile, don't you, Wee oh, Fit Main? Look, look. Look, it's great if someone rising, uh, rising short hop bears me. Yeah. <laughs> low profile makes it whip most of the time. Uh huh. Uh, and right now, I really like. I mean, Camel obviously the underdog. Daybreak. Poised to look top three in Michigan this season. But I really like the way that Camel's playing neutral early on. Camel's big key is can he get the kill as Pikachu, which is still tough. Not as tough as in four to do, because his fair can kill and his bear can kill off the side a lot easier. But he really sometimes as a player guard, though, might have problem getting the kill. Yeah, he needs to edge guard Wolf. You have to have just the right amount of respect for Wolf's disjoints on his recovery, but you also don't want to let him come back for free. I mean you gotta you gotta watch out for his side B as well. Yeah, because it can dunk you. Yeah. Also, a very scary tool with a wolf with the lead, like right now. So, oh, I love that call out. So, right there, he, a lot of people in those situations when you're kind of low on the ground will air dodge towards you, try to go past you mm -hmm. so they can get a chance to get a grab or something. And Camel kind of sniffing that out with the F smash. So, I like that a lot. Wow, Pika sucks! You know, I thought he was supposed to be top tier, man. Yeah, that's a lie. Don't trust anyone whose name rhymes with Re-Gam. That's Esam, for those of you that don't know. By the way, that will not kill either, because Pika no. still can't kill. Pika Good Thunder Jolts. He needs a dash attack. I think he's going to start looking for a dash attack. That's going to be his next commitment neutral, I bet. Oh, that bear is just sending him so does, far. Does up throw kill with this percent for Pikachu? No. No? But that down smash almost will kill Pika. Town and city. Yeah. Town is not one of the bigger cities. In Smash 4, it had a really low um, ceiling, and it had those platforms that were conducive to getting those early kills. Even. That's it. Yep. What else do you want to see Pika do differently right now in neutral? I mean, unfortunately right now, he's just got a lar uh, large percent. There we go. Large percent disadvantage here. So, I mean, he's got to kind of play it safe to avoid getting hit by a random smash attack or even just a fair close to the edge. Yeah. Could send him far out. So, I mean, he's just got to play it safe at this point. But I like what he's trying to do. He's zoning smartly right now. Yes. Even though you still have the – you see a lot of Pichu and Pikachu players do it where you go Thunder Jolt into some sort of approach, whether that's fair, whether that's Nair. Yeah, it leads into stuff, and then you might be forced to shield or roll because you feel like you've given up too much space, and that's when Pika can open you up with the combo. So, I mean, even on the reflector there, he was able to get the fair and just hop over the Thunder Jolt. Yeah, and Pika Thunder is frame one, which is as fast as it gets, basically. Yeah. So a lot of times, when it seems like he's going to still get hits on, Camo might use a Thunder to try and at least get a trade out of that situation. Daybreak has always had, and in this game it really shines, he's always had the best dash dancing in the state, in my opinion. Are you dead at like 50? That was like 50. That was like 50 before the hit. That's stupid. That, that, that ain't down right. smash two frames the ledge pretty hard there. It really does. The hitbox isn't as dumb as it feels like it is, but it kills it's so pretty early. Dumb. I mean, you watch the replay here. Yeah, let's see what percent my man died at. He gets fair. Great okay, spacing. fourth throw. 51. That's not okay. People are complaining about Ness down that smash. That's 21%. Wolf down smash, that's much less okay. All right, we're going to see the Bowser come about out from Ness him. down smash, you can't get to the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> here comes a different character. It could be King K. Roo. I don't want to see King K. Roo. Bowser, no, I like. With Bowser I really like Bowser as a pick for Camel's play style in general. He always has a good neutral, and sometimes he needs a little bit more help on getting a consistent punish game with his characters. Mm -hmm. And because he's got a good. He plays kind of like a heavy neutral. I don't know how to describe it, but. Bowser's, Bowser's good. 
he really understands how to play around and oh, use right. Bowser's strengths while minimizing his weaknesses. And these nares right now, getting some good damage. Already looking like a bigger pick, better pick. Bowser's fair is massive, too. And that nair doesn't do, I don't know, maybe it does more percent last game, but it seems like it's a really good combo. It's like Ike nair this game. It leads into imagination, it seems like. Well, look, Bowser's nair isn't like the size of other characters. Uh-huh. For a disjoint, anyways. But. Daybreak's so good at chasing with those um, bears. You're dead. Oh, oh, no. Good jump call out, though, by Camel. Okay. We Down tilt. I'm mad he couldn't punish it. <laughs> he tried waiting it out. He tried being patient. I thought we were going to get a shield break for a second there. I really like how Camel's playing this ledge right now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That was a good, like, slow um dare. Yeah. Oh, he knows he's looking for a shield grab, though. So he's. Derek is playing in a way that he's, like, trying to beat out the shield grab. Oh, I just sucked yep. him in. He's been missing a lot of those up in these sets. Like, I feel like he has kind of a good idea. He's getting a little thirsty for them last game, but he gets to kill with it right now, so. He hasn't really been punished too hard for whipping those up smashes. That's true. Either. I mean, you can't really punish almost any of Wolf smash attacks. No. Up smash more than the others, for sure. But dash attack won't kill still. Farewell. Fair kill. One of the best buffs for Bowser in this game is that he no longer has that frame A jump squad that was so painful for him. And now if you jump and Bowser jumps at the same time, he's got some pretty nasty disjoints in power. Oh, That's yeah. pretty scary. Greedy Uppy. I mean, Bear hits like a truck. Bear's got great uh, range on it, you know. And I love um, Camel's callouts of a lot of Daybreak's tech options. It feels like he's really in his head. Even if he's not getting the hardest punch, he's getting like a consistently solid punish up. Question is, how is he going to get back? Okay, just kind of wait him out and jumped around him. Good. Nair. Good forward tilt. Camel playing really well right now. Is the nickel attack finally going in? Oh, no, he's not using the nickel. <laughs> See, this is all Meek's fault. <laughs> Why is it Meek's fault? <laughs> Hold on. It's always Meek's fault. Okay. For leaving us, coming to melee Falco. Actually, Falco is sick objectively in melee. Half the love Falco. Oh, yeah. Opening up with some combos. Bowser disadvantage. Still there. trash. Daybreak's at that percent where he could look for fair into dare or fair into or nair into um, what's called the, the wolf flash. Side B. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, how does Camel get the stock? Kind of looking for it a little desperately now. Yeah. At this point, now he's just. Fair. It really did, yeah. Oh, now you need a down tilt. Oh, he hesitated. Oh, okay. He okay. did <laughs> the up tilt, got him. <laughs> they breaking a little greedy, but I mean, he can help it. Look, Bowser's a big boy, but he's not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the... Nair? That was Nair killed one. Oh, okay. That was bear. I almost thought that was a Nair for a second. And I was like, that's a little early for Nair to kill. You know, that killed them. All right. You got a nice set in losers? No, I'm out. Oh.